And we are back. And, and there's a rat right there. Asylum. Because every game needs a hunt or something. What? The pet rat. Aww. Reach so in, grab him, and keep him. So cute. We'll call him Splinter. Okay. Are we also gonna <laughs> well, get him? Away. Where's the ooze? Are, are we gonna get him some pet turtles too? So, Lena, hmm? you walk into the bathroom to use the shower. Then you see that. Um. <laughs> can, can I not? I think I'll just skip my shower tonight. Sorry, rat. No, that was not a rat. Not a rat. There were tentacles sticking out of the sewer drain. This is not a hentai. And then when we walked in there, they drift. They went in. They retracted. Oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> fuck that. Fuck this shit all out. I. I. I the theme that? song for this. Ugh. That sounds like some hentai shit. Why the fuck? is there showers coming? <laughs> What the hell? What kind of headache shit is this? <laughs> Let's get that on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that theme song is playing in my mind now. <laughs> oh, fuck this shit out Remember that video I showed you yesterday, Lena? If you watch anime, everyone knows that if you were to show them a, a tentacle and ask them what this makes them think of, their mind is going to go to a dirty place. Nerdy. Actually, she said nerdy. She said dirty. I will look up the video. Nerdy? Yeah. They, they both go to bullet, either a nerdy... Is it, actually, technically, it's a nerdy and dirty place. That's true. That is very true. But I'm sorry. A tentacle saw my... Uh... Well, hello. Oh, pretty ghost lady. Oh! <laughs> Where'd she go? Oh, she went somewhere over here. She's gonna come out screaming at us, isn't she? Oh, hello. How did those those just switch direction? <laughs> the hell? Doctor Stedman, Huntfield heard about the little dust up you had in the dining hall the other night. He's gloating and strutting about saying he'll soon have authority over patient number eighteen due to your professional medical agents. I wouldn't be surprised if we put number seventy nine up to it in the first place. Keep an eye on him. He's far too excited about getting his hands on a new test subject. H. Who is this H? I don't know. I'm sorry, but... Uh, um, there's bodies everywhere now. Uh, I didn't do it. Oh, hey! Another trip! <laughs> and now they're gone again. Uh, I'm <laughs> confused. There is blood on the floor! There is a lot of blood on the floor! Yeah, no. Yeah. I am in a scary movie. Um. The hell? <laughs> that was a fucking. Was that a fucking. It's skull? a basketball! That was a basketball! Oh. Wait, hold up. Basketballs were invented at this point in time? No. I guess. Basketball wasn't invented. Well, that time. is a bucket basketball. Well. Yeah, that has got the seams and the. Um. And for basketball as a game was invented until 1930. Well, you know what? Fuck logic. Well, maybe basketballs existed, but they hadn't come up with the game yet. Another document. Okay. Entertainment 56, the three skit review. 518, Ladies' Choice and Operetta in five parts. <laughs> 63, Felicia's Harp Shikard Honky Tonk. 621 Summer's Day Celebration. 7-2 Diner with Dr. Stedman. Dinner with Dr. Stedman. Something growled again. Yeah, made the room shake. Is this thing got the crack in it? There's something under it. Why do I get the feeling that the sea monster's hanging out under this? <sighs> Fuck that, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I heard something I in the was pipes. <laughs> there is something in the pipes. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> I saw, I heard some shit like that. If I was going through like that church I go through downtown. I'd probably. Run away screaming. <laughs> no, no, I'm like. Liar! Fuck this, I'm out. Now we're in the women's ward. Oh. 
Hey. I would, Lessons. Would... Lessons for mental health. One, repetition soothes the troubled mind. Two, a lack of excitement promotes healing. What? Three, noise is the enemy of well-being. What? Four, obedience is the first sign of recovery. Okay. I, I, I go a little crazy without noise. I am not by nature very... F what the fuck is a fire doing in here? Who lit it? <laughs> I'm sorry, but at this point, is it, if I was like, say, on the third floor of the church I was in and I heard something like that, you might see me jump off the edge of that... <laughs> of that oh, report about Aaron. Free falling! You, you know how they, ha they usually hey, have that no, second... another one about Aaron. Patient number 18 is an extraordinary creature. When not sedated, she screams about thousands of voices and thrashes so violently that we had to triple her restraints. The main phrase she yells is for someone to wake up. But who Gee. is she talking? Who she is talking to is unclear. Uh, uh, obviously she's, she's talking about us. She's talking about Garrett. I had patient number 22 brought into the treatment room several times in order to watch their interactions. He did not touch her, but became violent when removed from her presence. I can only hope Northcrest will allow me to attempt my new extraction technique soon. I have the device created specifically for this task, and it would be a shame to let it rust simply because Elias can't handle a little blood. El Elias Northcrest is Judge Frollo, by the way, if you don't remember. So, a lady just whispered to us. Mm. Yeah, you know what? You know how some churches have that, that second deck for people who view the, uh... Yeah, that one? happens a lot in, kept, in um, bigger, bigger churches. Yeah, I saw I saw or heard something like that. I might jump off that and route to the exit sign. <laughs> and be like, Field's illness. Thurlow, Dr. Humfield seems to have come down with a disfiguring ailment of the back. He has trouble standing upright and performing his operations. He asked me to examine him, but I'm afraid I could find nothing wrong. Of course, he then called me a failure and stomped away, so I neglected to mention that the back of his head is now entirely bald, or that his left leg is beginning to twist as he walks. I may suggest he try his own electrotherapy techniques. I'm sure his patients would be more than happy to apply the treatment on his behalf. <laughs> Eve. This is the douche waffle who wants to keep torturing people, right? He believes in, uh, like, extreme... Therapy. You will actually uh, have to go into his section of the war here soon, and yeah, whatever happened to him, I I can tell you he deserved it. Yeah, he had it coming. Certain even people back then considered his methods extreme. You know, right now, just reading some of his stuff, uh, I'm hoping that he ran into somebody's knife ten times. Oh, hello. Hey, didn't we run into those underneath the brothel? Yeah. So now you know what's fucking with us. Hey. Hmm. Okay. Golem's back. Yes. I wonder if he's looking for his precious. I wonder That'd what. I wonder what in this world he considers his precious. Because I'm starting to think it's not a ring. Teacup! I'm out. <laughs> Somebody was growling. Yep. Yeah, Golem and his buddies. Well, we've already met a ghost, so it's not, it's not all that noise is them. No. That's where we need to go, by the way, is in there. Uh, the lit room? What is she saying? There's a fog coming tonight, a chill coming tonight, and then something about a lot of stuff's coming tonight. Oh. And there's a light. Oh. Hey! It's the room from the beginning. And now we can do something about it. <laughs> Another trip! Did you notice one of the creatures was in that one? Yes, I did. They've been here all along. Did you have to go through the ominously <laughs> open, the open door? And now that one's open too. Okay. Huh. 
Huh. When did this turn into a horror game? It, it's it's a suspense game, which means it has a few things of horror in it. Heart, heat and cold treatment. Melancholia is a symptom most reported by today's caregivers, for which there is a remedy both simple and effective. It requires the application of extreme heat to those areas of the body which may, to the touch, have the feel of clamminess or wetness. As for the dry areas of the skin, where one may find a vigorousness of unbe unbecoming immortal flesh, the repeated submersion of the patient into a vessel containing water no colder than eight, an eighth of a degree above freezing shall draw from their body part the very obstinacy, obstinacy that so afflicts its owners. I've never fucking seen that word before. Obstinacy? Yeah, I've never ever seen that word before. I have a couple times, just not very often. But men melancholia. I've seen that word before. I know what that is. Yeah, explain it to me, because I've heard it a couple times, I just don't get it. It's very bland. Not re it's like the expression I have right now. Well, I know That's, melancholy is more like a sad feeling. It's it's not a sad feeling. It's just kind of dead. Dead. Yeah. No. You're just kind of just just imagine someone just slooped like uh, B J Blaskovitz in the Sand Asylum. How he was a vegetable. He was just kind of slooped there. He was, yeah, yeah. except uh, he's doing that kind of more by choice. So, except that that person was doing that more by choice. I don't want to go into the brightly lit room. Okay, so we'll go into this one instead. Just remember, you didn't want to go into the other room. I don't want to go into this room either! Too late! Whoa! <laughs> Fuck this terrible. And it never happened. The fuck? <laughs> what gas is going on in this place? <laughs> you got launched by whatever happened. Are, are we finding I... Alma's ancestral heritage? <laughs> okay, we'll go through the vents. See, I didn't go through the door, Lena. Close to get what the fuck is the fire doing in here again? The fuck? What? Aggression the... again. All patients have been exhibiting an increased aggression of late. We had similar incidents last year when patient number 18 was in the central seclusion. But those ceased with her removal to reformation. Still, the behaviors occurring now show disturbing similarities. Patient number 82 actually growled at me when I brought her metal her meal this morning. A child should not be able to make those noises. All we can do is continue to provide wait, the care. Wait. That they need. I will not be responsible for sending any more patients to Hunt Fields Arbitor, Nurse Aubermill. If I remember right, it's this is about the time Garrett woke up. Hold on, us. There are there were kids in here. Yep. There's I... kids in most of the Santa asylums. Patient notes. 38842. Patient number 79 has been experiencing increased delusions of demons in the corners. Recommended cognitive ther therapy with Dr. No, Stephen I don't Palmer. think he's... I don't need to think he's hallucinating. 312842. Patient was found to have drilled holes in his wall again. Moved to 7M and caution. Recommend no forks or knives during mealtime to re avoid reoccurrences. 318842. Patient number 49 moved from 3M to 4M. Incons inconsistency of noise was disturbing patient number 16, causing him to scream at varied intervals. 322-842. Patient number 78 continues to insist that her presence is accidental and that she is sane. Recommended lobotomization if her delusions continue. That's fucking extreme. The hell? Patient number 45 is evidence that the procedure is a massive success. What? Three... 24. Dr. Huntsfield continues in the delusion that he should have jurisdiction over the entire asylum. Recommend he pulls his head out of his ass and starts <laughs> suggesting lobotomizations in the office logbook when I'm off duty. Oh. So, <laughs> <laughs> so he wrote the last in, the lobotomization entry. Asshole needs to stop being an asshole. His head is not, his ass is not a hat. He needs to stop wearing it as one. Show me. I could have told them it. So the, the, whatever we, we just picked up was about Aaron. It pains me to confirm your inquiry, but in fact, patient number 18 will undergo 
Eger in room 3F as you closed the door on the room of horrors years ago. The room of horrors years ago. The subject is classified for selective experimentation on the destruction of Baron Northcrest himself. This is the last oh, time fuck. I sign a patient over to the treatment center. They need doctors, not butchers. Huntfield will be taking over this subject in all aspects. I pity the girl, Thurlow. May she find peace somewhere in her madness. Near Sobermill. So, Judge Frollo has forced them to send them down into the torture chamber. Because apparently he gets off on that. Told you! Sex slave! I'm the one who started that one. With the I agreed with you immediately. Yeah. Uh, I, I I know the video's uh, just past the 15 minute mark. We're almost done with this part. Lena doesn't have to worry about the female ward anymore. Patient number 14, the Watchman. Caught peeking into windows and following strangers. Treated with solitary confinement. What? Patient number 53, the Baker. Admitted for having hot skin. Undergoing hydrotherapy? Hmm? Patient number 63, the dancer. Murderer who torments patient number 79. Shamelessly promiscuous. Regular sessions when hunt field. Treatment unknown. Patient number... I think he's having sex with her. Well, that would be a... Patient number 31, the archivist. Uncontrollable urge to steal. Occasional electrotherapy. Patient number 22, father, the duke. Considered very dangerous. Related to the patron... The biggest secret after number 18. Find out more. I don't think they really talk about 22 more, though. It's kind of weird. Mm. And there's nothing in that room. I'll, I'll open it real quick to show. It's just dark in here. Okay. Eh. I guess we're going to the, to the douche waffles half next, huh? I think douche waffle is too nice of a word for him. Okay. So, you didn't see it, but something pushed that wheelchair out here. Uh, I took too long walking over here. It, there's a final history note. And yet, Moira Asylum is not without its share of troubles. Battered by the constant to and fro of coastal winds, it has a melancholy and beleaguered atmosphere not common to the more grounded buildings of the city, nor does it want for draughts and other embellishments. Her staff are both courteous and cheerful, despite their conditions, for which they are to be commended. Well, Most startling yet, however, is the fertile soil of Asylum's Island, within which have been sown the many seeds of wildflowers no longer common to the more civilized surroundings to which we have become accustomed. Oh, well, most and... of the staff is kind and courteous, except for one who's obviously a sick, we have collected... sadistic son of a bitch who needs to be put down like... Like a rabid dog. Alright, well, How we have successfully collected all the loot in this half of the asylum. Yes, we are only half done. I figured that. So that we will continue the other chapter. half in the next episode of MOJ TV. Dun, dun, dun. Where we'll find out more about the naked men. And the sick, Monster sadistic thingies. son of a bitch who needs to be put down like a rabid dog. Are you going to do it? I don't know. I'll tell you that episode.